Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and today's video is going to be potty training tips and advice. How I potty train my toddler in three days or less. I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory super quick. I did try to potty train my toddler about six months beforehand of the success situation and she was nowhere near ready. So it did not work. We tried for weeks and weeks. We tried every possible method, even all the methods I'm gonna mention here, and it did not work. And I believe she was about two years old at this point. She might have been, she just turned two actually, and she just wasn't ready. Each child is at a different time. And so I just decided I was tired of cleaning up all of the messes all over the house because she would hide and do it, and then you would like find it under the couch in like random places. It was really weird. So I waited a few months and then the whole lockdown situation happened and my daughter was turning three two months after that and I thought now is the time. She is showing me the cues that she's ready. She's interested in the potty. Now is the time. Why I wanted to mention that is because each child is different. Even if your friend's child is potty trained and they're 18 months and your child is three and they're not potty trained, that's okay. Your child has different development than other children they're not all the same so it depends on if your child is ready the environment that you're in is it a comfortable and safe environment are you going to be home do you have the time to do this for me i had weeks off of work because we were in lockdown because of the whole situation that happened in 2020 but even if not like the first time i tried i took two weeks off of work for my vacation to potty train her and it didn't work so make sure you have the time to actually commit to this because once you commit, you're going to want to keep going. You don't want to stop, even if it takes more than three days. So like I said, the environment, the parent and the child have to be ready to do this transition. It's like an all effort kind of thing. Everyone involved of taking care of that child, whether that be multiple households they live in, if it's like a split parents situation, both parents have to be 100% committed to this because if one parent's doing it and then the child goes to the other parent's house and they just put a diaper on them, that's gonna cause a bit of a regression and it's not gonna help. Keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next tip. My biggest advice is introducing the potty beforehand. So I, she, my daughter would always come in with me. She still does when I go to the bathroom. She never wants to be away from me. So she follows me into the bathroom and I don't have a problem with it. And she kind of just watches. And after a while, she would ask, like, what am I doing? Or, you know, I would tell her, like, oh, there's pee in the potty and flush the toilet. And just get her kind of interested in what the potty was. And then eventually, one day, I just put her on the potty to see what she did. She didn't really know what to do. She kind of just sat there. You know, we read a book, things like that. And day by day, little by little, I would slowly start introducing her to the potty. The idea of the potty. So it's not too scary for them. Some children are very scared of the big potty, like the adult, the toilet, you know, where adults actually go. So sometimes you would need to get like a little kind of potty or a seat to go over the actual toilet. We actually just bought a little potty seat for like a separate potty to have in her room and keep downstairs while we were potty training. And then we also bought the toilet child seat to go on top of the regular toilet. That way she was not scared of the huge opening for her little bottom that's sitting on the potty. She was really scared of that. Something we did that made it really fun for her was I took her to Walmart and I let her pick out big girl panties that she wanted. She chose what stickers she wanted. She chose some little treats and surprises for when she goes poop on the potty. We, I also let her pick out her potty, a little stool to climb up on and wash her hands. On top of that, I also let her pick up her pull-ups because at nighttime and for long car rides, I was going to put her in pull-ups. My daughter was so happy to be involved in this. Still to this day, she picks out her underwear and she's so thrilled to have her cute little prints on her underwear. So the stickers and the little treats are for a rewards chart that I did. Every time she would go pee, she would get a sticker. And then when she went poop, she would get a sticker and some type of treat. Now, the way we did this was a very expensive and I will not do this again, but I will tell you what we did because it did work. We bought Kinder Eggs. Yes, those giant eggs that are like $1.25 each. And let me tell you, when you are potty training your child, for like, you know, they're, you're still rewarding them even after they're potty trained for a little bit. That was a lot of money in eggs. So what I would do differently, it was around Easter time at the same time. So that's why we were doing eggs. 
but what I would do is like jelly beans or like a Skittle or an M&M, something like that to give them something small, like a little reward like that. Not a huge chocolate every single day, that just costs a lot of money. But you do whatever you prefer. I've seen some people do like once your sticker chart is full or once you get seven stickers, then you get a prize, things like that. But something to motivate them, something they like and they really want. For my daughter, these Kinder Surprise eggs really worked though. She wanted to go. She would literally go to the potty and just go a little bit just to make sure that she would get this egg. And then later on, she would go a little bit again and be like, oh, I get another one. It's like, that's not how it works, but we kind of just have to keep doing it and rewarding her with it because it was encouraging her to go in the potty and not on the floor. Now, as for the parent or the guardian, making sure there's a lot of enthusiasm, energy, excitement in this. You want them to be like, you want to be like, wow, you went potty. That's so great. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Clapping for them when they go potty, letting them know that you're proud of them. They're doing a good job and really encouraging them, getting them so excited. So my daughter would clap every time she would go and she would flush her toilet and be so happy to go wash her hands. And it was such a fun thing. It sounds so silly because to us, it's simple, just like flushing a toilet and washing our hands. But to a little one, when you're making it fun and engaging, they're loving that time and they're going to want to keep on doing that and getting that praise and enthusiasm every time they do something positive, like going to the bathroom themselves. Now you are going to have to have patience. They are going to have accidents. They're going to pee themselves. It is going to happen. Don't get mad at them. Don't get upset. I know it can be frustrating. It's like, I just put you on the potty. You said you didn't have to go and I took you off and you went. It can be so frustrating, especially if it keeps on happening. But you are going to have to try so hard to have patience and not get upset at them. If they have an accident, let them know, that's okay, accidents happen. If my daughter had an accident, I would pick her up and go and put her on the potty and sit her there. Obviously, she wouldn't go again, but she would know and I would say, when we go pee pee, we go in the, and then she would say, potty, and it would be like a little thing we did. So this is how I kind of reinforced in her head when she had an accident, I would bring her to the potty and sit her there and tell her, instead we can go in the potty. Now another thing with that to avoid accidents, your child is not going to have the cues yet that they need to go potty. So you are going to need to keep putting them on the potty over and over every 10, 15 minutes. This is why you need to take time off of work sometimes, do it on like a long weekend or something because you're going to want to stay home all day long for multiple days, as annoying as it is. You are going to want your child to be butt naked. That is my advice, butt naked so you can run them to the potty if they need to. Or if that's not working and they keep having accidents, another piece of advice is having them wear some type of like pants and underwear and peeing their pants because when they have an accident in their pants, that's not comfortable for them. They're not going to like that and they're not going to want to pee in their pants. They're going to want to pee on the potty. March, so it wasn't too cold. Having her butt naked was great to just run her to the bathroom and put her on when she had to go. But like I said, every 15 to 20 minutes, you are going to want to take them and put them on the potty. Not ask them, do you have to go potty? Because whatever they're doing, if they're playing games or drawing, they're not going to say yes. They don't want to leave their toys and games. Put them on the potty, even if they don't go. Sit there for a couple minutes. If they go, awesome. If not, that's okay. And most of the time, you will take them off the potty and then the second they get back to whatever they were doing, they will pee themselves. It happened a lot. But that's when you keep reinforcing, putting them back on the potty and eventually we'll get a routine and then they will understand the cues of, oh, I feel like I have to go and they will start learning what it means to have the feeling of needing to go to the bathroom. So this is how you're gonna kind of get that habit in there for them. Like I said, putting them on the potty a lot is the key. For my daughter's naps and bedtime, I did put a reusable pull-up. I had cloth pull-ups that I used, but you can use disposable ones as well. But for some reason, she would never pee when she was asleep. So I would put her on the potty right before her bed. She would go. And then she just potty trained herself in the nighttime. It was crazy. I know this doesn't happen for a lot of people. My daughter's been potty trained for almost a year now. She's had two accidents at nighttime. And that was literally a month ago. And she's having a little bit of a regression right now with the potty training because... I'm currently pregnant, the babies do. It's very common for toddlers to have a little bit of a, a regression before the baby comes. So she had two accidents, but from when I potty trained her until one full year, 
and only having accidents now that's crazy so she actually potty trained herself at nighttime and nap time which is awesome and by the time she was back in daycare after all of this potty training stuff it was good it took about two to three days but by the third day she knew when she had to go potty and we didn't really have any more accidents Every now and then she will have a little bit of pee that goes in her underwear and then she'll just take off her pants and put them in the wash, but not a big deal. We still don't get mad at her for having accidents, even if it's in bed, if it's on the floor. I don't get mad for accidents because it's an accident. She doesn't mean to, she's not purposely peeing on the floor to be like funny or anything. So really making sure you're not getting mad at them and having patience because if you get mad at them, that's going to kind of cause like a negative effect and negative kind of thought and connotation with what's going on and it's not going to help them as much so i know it's hard i know it can be frustrating but try your absolute best you've got this and my most important tip is just remembering that every child has different stages of development at different times so if someone else is saying well my child was potty trained at 18 months and you have a three-year-old that's okay don't let people shame you or guilt you into it. You know your child the best. So whenever you and your child are ready to do this, awesome. Go for it. Those are my tips. Thank you so much for watching. Happy potty training, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.